you guys ever wondered what a $146,000 Land Cruiser looks like? Yeah, me too. Oh, there's one right there. This brand new Toyota Land Cruiser Heritage Edition is actually for sale right now over at Ed Martin Toyota. And the MSRP on this rig, nearly 150 grand. And that's because the guys over at Slee did a lot of work on bringing this truck together. Now you're probably wondering, why is this rig so expensive? Well, let's start out with the base truck, 2020 Land Cruiser 200 Series, which by itself has an MSRP of $89,395. These are properly comfortable, well-appointed luxury SUVs. And then you bring it to the guys over at Slee and you start bolting stuff on and customizing it and raising it and adding big tires and all sorts of storage cubbies in the rear. And all of a sudden, that price really increases quickly. But for the ultimate SUV to cross the world in, it doesn't get any better than these 200 series. Let me tell you what I'm talking about. This 2020 Land Cruiser has the legendary 5.7 liter 3UR Toyota engine. 381 horsepower, so not a ton of horsepower for the money, but these engines are known for going three, four, five million miles. Okay, maybe not that much before rebuilds. These engines really last a long time, but they do need a lot of gas, and there's a solution for that. This is where a spare tire would live on a stock 200 series, but on this build, the spare tire is of course on the rear. So underneath here, you'll find an auxiliary fuel tank, which really increases the total range of this truck. All right guys, I'm here with a very special guest, Christo, and Christo is the founder of Slee Off-Road. Can you talk to me a little bit about what you do here? Um, Slee Off-Road was founded um, about 20 years ago, pretty much by me in the garage. We do a lot of vehicle builds like this one. And when it comes to 200 series especially, I mean Slee Off-Road is the go-to. Everything in the 200 world is basically from Slee. The 2020 Toyota Land Cruiser is a massive rig, and as such, it needs a lot of armor underneath to keep it safe when you're out on the rock. So this one has been fully skid plated, is that a word? All the way through the underside of the vehicle. And what this means is in combination with this big one-off front bumper here, you can run this into trees and rocks and ditches and gullies and come out unscathed. truck looks pretty lifted and these are some big tires for a 200. Can you talk to me um, about that? Approximately a 34 inch tire. Um, we're running uh, Old Man Emu VP51 suspension on it. Set it about uh, three inches in the front, uh, probably about two and a half inches in the rear. Now, when you put the 34s on it, you know, in a lot of vehicles, you add a lot of strain to the drivetrain and to the, the suspension components. Will the Land Cruisers take them with the... The components on this truck is so much bigger than any of the previous Land Cruisers that I mean, we traditionally, we ran 35s on 80 series, that's got smaller components than this, you know. The sure. differentials are big, the axles are big. We've never, not really seen any, you know, in the 12 years of the truck being out, any drivetrain related anomalies or weak points at all. So tell me about what we got going on back here. Uh, the rear is a Slee off-road bumper, um, production bumper for the 200. Uh, pretty much got, you know, dual swing outs. Um, it's got a proprietary latch system that we developed. One of the big complaints with people always is, how easy are these things to get in? Now, if your wife drives us and she's gonna go to King Supers 10 times a day, then maybe that's not the best thing for her to have on the back of the vehicle. But we did spend a lot of times from years of experience in designing this. It's got gas struts that help both opening and closing the carrier based on the design of the bumper. Um, and this is what we call a ladder, but it's also an accessory rack, which got a bunch of holes on it. You know, people like to modify their own stuff so they can put on there whatever they want. If 
being honest, of course this rig is never going to be a hardcore rock crawler because it is just massive and extremely heavy. However, if you need to carry a lot of stuff for a very long distance, I'm talking tens of thousands of miles like across Namibia, it doesn't get any better because this 200 series has a huge amount of trunk space. If you end up with a Heritage Edition, you actually lose the third row of seats, but you gain a lot of storage capacity. And with this Trek Fox Expedition system, you can organize your stuff perfectly. So I've got cubbies here for uh, like cooking stuff, cubbies for my clothes to keep it warm and dry, and then of course the cooler, the ARB cooler pulls out from the rear as well, so it's all nice and uh, secure. And of course I got lights back here which are completely configurable so that you've got the most possible visibility when you're out on the trail at night camping. So under the hood, uh, standard ARB twin compressor, solenoid um, for the lockers here. We do have an um, airline that runs to the bottom and there's actually quick connect for air hose up there and there's one on the back bumper as well. So you can just take that, you know, turn on the compressor, plug in your hose, air up your tires. Unbelievable. So very decent you know, performance out of these electrical compressors these days. I noticed too you've got a, a dual battery setup as well. Yeah, uh, two Odyssey batteries. Something that we did special on this vehicle is this is typically your starting battery and that normally there's no battery there. We make a bracket for that and we also make a bracket for this to upgrade this to a bigger battery. But in this vehicle we actually relocated the starting signal to that because it's a smaller battery just to start it. So you have a bigger house battery to run all your accessories in the back. The vehicle is re-geared. Um, what we did is we bought brand new differentials from a, a 2015 Land Cruiser because in 16 they changed the gear ratio and the actual differential design changed. Interesting. So ARB is not caught up to produce lockers for that. So what we're doing currently is we're buying the earlier differentials and then we use the lockers that is available for those. It also gives us the advantage because with the 8-speed transmission, this has got 330, 330 gears and the earlier one is the 390. Wow. So the upgrade um, in the, the differential gives us a little bit better gear ratio to run with a larger tire as well. And these are some incredibly beefy sliders too down the side. Yeah, it's, it's a slider that we actually developed for the Alex 570 market just because on the Alex 570 there's a lot of uh, AHC components on the frame rail so they had to work around that. It's also, we use a similar slider on the Forerunner and the Tundra. It is a sheet metal slider, um, they're 316 steel, they're fully functional as a slider, but somewhere somebody will bend them. One thing I noticed is, you know, the modern looks are all very slim and very sleek and you definitely see that up here with that yeah. rack. That's a good yeah. looking rack. Yeah, it's a front runner rack. Um, we really like their rack systems because it's an aluminum extrusion. You know, there's tracks in there that allow you to put bolts in and you can slide um, hardware around to bolt things too. Oh, cool. So on the rear here, uh, I noticed this. This is really oh, cool. I should just pull that off. Yeah, what, what are you doing here? This um, is awesome. Actually, this is just put on the truck. We wow. took the... Uh, the Heritage Edition comes with a special uh, badge on there, which is kind of what you pay for. And we just kind of did homage to the design of the old, like the, the logo that was on the F-40, yeah. yeah, yeah. and we made our own Sleebolt Heritage Edition. That's uh, such a cool touch, yeah. that came out really great. Very interesting, 3D printed in stainless steel. So there you have it, a quick tour of a $150,000 200 series Land Cruiser. And like I said, if you want this truck, it can be yours. Check out Ed Martin Toyota, and a big thank you to Christo at Slee for letting us come along and take a look at this really cool rig. 
As always, this is Tommy with the Fast Lane Truck. Head over to tfloffroad.com for the latest and greatest in everything truck, SUV, and side-by-side -side reviews.